right, so now what I got to do is drill the hole in the top rail. And I'm going to put it about here, but over on that one. And uh, I'm going to actually put it through this uh, 2x4 because uh, I want it the level to be that high uh, before it drains out. Anyway, what I've got here is I've got my trusty drill. Now this is kind of a, a big hand drill. And what I've got, I bought me a new a new uh, hole saw. And then here's that. There we go. No, there we go. Let's see how that fits now. Okay. Oh, perfect. See, that goes right through. Then I'll start drilling the holes in the rest of these. For example, one right here. Probably right here is a good place. So here we go. in there too. Okay, that's good. So now what we've got to do is we need to we need to uh, seal it to the plastic so that it won't leak. Now the reason I have to do that is because you can't have any leakage here. In other words, if I put the seal up here on the plastic and for some reason, you know, there's a little bit of leakage here and it leaks down on this wood can't tolerate that at all because this wood, it's wood. And it can't, you know, it can get wet if it dries out right away, that's fine. But if it stays wet because something's constantly dripping on it, it'll rot and it'll rot fairly quickly in a matter of a few months, you know, it could be gone. So I can't have anything getting wet, uh, especially from internal leakage. That's why it's important to have a liner that has no leakage at all because you know, it'll get your uh, it'll get your grow beds wet. Now, the, another obvious way to solve that is you just go buy a grow bed, and they're like a hundred bucks. But usually, uh, you go buy what I call a feeder bunk uh, for cattle. They're about this size, and they're you know roughly, and, and they're already made kind of waterproof. Well, I guess they are waterproof, and they, sometimes they have fittings on them already to drain them out, so you can do this without. Uh, you know, in one in one uh, one shot. But because I have all this wood laying around and I have all these fittings that I'm, I can make, you know, it's cheaper this way. And besides, it's kind of fun making something, you know, designing it. And even if it looks like hell, if it works and it, you know, it's kind of neat. It's kind of satisfying. That, hey, I made this out of junk, and uh, it works great. So that's what I'm going to do. So the next step is to take this, uh, like I said, take this fitting, take this fitting here, put it in over here, seal up the, uh, the plastic to it, uh, to the plastic pieces, seal up the plastic so that it doesn't leak, and uh, we will get on with showing you how I'm going to do that. Okay, I got another set of bushings here and what these are is two pieces of this stuff right here and it's just about the right length now the right thickness now what I've got to do is mount this plastic on here and what I need to do for that is punch a hole in here and uh, the way I'm going to do that is uh, basically so that there's plenty of slack in here where this pipe comes through I'm going to just stick a hole in here just as a marker. Then what I'm going to do is uh, try and uh, force this over it. Now, what I'm going to do is this little hole that I punched in here, I'm going to uh, bunch it up. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll just cut a little bit off so that we've got more than that hole to work with. There, okay. Now what we've got is uh, a hole, you know, that's maybe you can see that, a little bit bigger, okay? We're going to put uh, a washer on the inside, put a washer on the inside, and then what we're going to do is force this down over this hole, 
Yeah. Is we forced this into the plastic, and there's a little sheet. You can see that little washer behind it. Now what we're going to do is put another washer on this side, and then we're going to coat both sides, this side here, and the uh, other side of the plastic uh, with the uh, uh, RTV. What we're going to do is see, we're just coating this whole thing, especially right around where the uh, where the uh, pipe is. There's a lot of RTV, and the idea is. When we push this over the top and, and compress it down, it's going to compress that RTV on both sides and uh, grab it. If I've done this right, we should have a watertight seal here now. You see, because what I've got is I've got the plastic in between these two little plastic washers, this metal washer here to provide some su support for this to press compress it. And if you lift this up, you can see this side has uh, a washer on the inside. And then of course that goes all the way through here and this is just the outside. Now the idea is is you can't I can't have any leaks between this plastic seal at all. Otherwise, it'll get this wood wet, and then we're in big trouble. So I'll let that dry for a little while, the RTV, and we'll start filling this up. Okay, as you can see, I've allowed the water to start flowing in here, and it's going to take quite a while to fill this up. So let me get the water flowing while I go see if I can find some pipes that will work out to put into the drain here. Yeah, here's the water level right now, and as you can see, it's got a little ways to go before it gets up there. So we'll take a break and let it fill up. Okay, as you can see, it's just touching the bottom right there, bottom of the inlet. I'm worried about dropping this camera in, but there we go. So we'll let it go a little longer and see if it comes out. There you go. Where it be. Anyway, it's flowing and it's working. Now the question that we need to ask is how much of a flow rate can we stand? In other words, with the uh, the water flowing like it is, like that. We're not going to use that much water to fill this up, but how much can it tolerate? So let's just keep it all wide open and see what happens. Okay, here's what the flow looks like right now coming out. So it's a pretty, pretty good flow. And it looks like it's about the same as what's coming in, or maybe more, because it's uh, got a little bit of a vacuum oil. It'll do a little bit of siphon, but. Anyway, it looks to me like it's working fine. As you can see up here, there's a little bit of a whirlpool going down. So, uh, 